Hello, welcome to the Gym RPG Show. It's been a while since I've done a Zen 3 video and there's a bit of information that's been trickling in this week about Zen 3. So I guess now is as good a time as any to make a video about it. So let's take a look at all the information that's come out. So there's a Twitter post from MayBewW and they write Zen 3 floating point IPC gain will be around 10% increase. Integer IPC gain is greater than 10% and single threaded performance with uh, the frequency and the IPC boost together will be around 15 to 20% gain. And interesting, the single thread IPC can benefit from the doubled available L3. However, if running multi-threaded benchmarks, the total L3 cache is unchanged. So I think that is in line with a lot of the old rumors in the past that would probably likely see at least a 10% improvement with Zen 3 in terms of single threaded performance. And that would help overtake the Intel CPUs, the 10900K uh, with the 10%. And now it's looking like it's probably going to be around 15 to 20%, which means that it will probably be better uh, than the 10900K in single threaded performance anyway. So if we take a look at some benchmarks of the 10900K versus the 3950X from Gamers Nexus, uh, we have Total War Three Kingdoms here and it's running at 1080p at high and this will show uh, the likely CPU gain. So here we have AMD 3950X which has 126 frames and if you do 1.2 times 126 you get 151 frames per second which would beat the stock clock of the 10900K at 147 frames. Here we have Hitman 2 uh, which is also at 1080p and if you uh, take the AMD 3950X score uh, of 123 frames and you do 1.2, you get 148 frames per second and you'll get uh, a higher score than the 10900K which was 140 frames per second. So here we have Formula 1 2019. Uh, so we have here 237.4 and if you do a 1.2 times uh, multiplier to that then you'll get 284 frames per second, which would be better than the stock clock of the 10900K. So I think if Zen 3 were to be about 15 to 20% better uh, than last generation, that should be enough for AMD to beat uh, the highest Intel chip, which is the 10900K. And I think that puts Intel in a very concerning position because for the past three or four years, they've always had the highest single threaded performance and therefore they've generally had the highest performance in gaming situations with higher frame rates, particularly at 1080p. Uh, but now it's looking like AMD is going to be taking that crown anyways. So uh, from a production standpoint, in terms of having more cores available to work with with production workloads, AMD already had the edge there and now it's looking like that AMD will also have the edge in gaming as well. That said, it is early days and these are more speculation on what the final performance might actually be. So we don't know anything yet until we actually get reviews and for the CPUs to be tested. So we really have to wait and see. It's not going to be long until we see Zen 3 because AMD announced that they were going to make an announcement of Zen 3 uh, on October the 8th. So it's about a month away before they'll do the announcement of Zen 3 and what the likely uh, specs are going to be for Zen 3 and when it will likely come out. They also announced that Radeon RDNA 2 cards, they'll make a separate announcement for that and that will be the 28th of October. Now one final thing about Zen 3 is that Yuri Bubili tweeted out that uh, Zen 3 there may be a 10 core processor. So that obviously targets Intel's uh, 10900K which had 10 cores 20 threads and so this Zen 3 part will probably fit in between the 3700X which is 8 cores and 16 threads and the 3900X which is 12 cores and 24 threads. And so I guess this part will probably be called 3800X, that's my guess anyway. Uh, so this will be a 10 core 20 thread CPU that's going to be targeting Intel's 10900K. Uh, in the CPU business this is a winner takes all uh, situation. So if the AMD part is going to perform better at with 10 cores and 20 threads, then 
obviously that's going to mean that more people are going to buy the AMD part and uh, not a whole lot of people would be buying the 10900K part because there'd be no reason to. All right, that's it for this one. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, make sure to click the like button if you like this video and also to subscribe to this channel for more gaming videos like this and I'll see you in the next one.